Hello, I'm Nikhil Slo, head of R&D here at Resolve, and today I would like to talk about the cable inside our floor mat antennas. I guess you're all familiar with our standard UHF floor mat antenna and its folding mechanism. And one thing that we are asked a lot is whether the cable inside the antenna might suffer from the folding. And yes, obviously this is the case, but it depends on how much you use it. Actually, we recommend replacing the cables in the antenna after three years of regular use. So if you use your antenna every weekend, you should replace your cables after three years. Obviously, it depends on how you use them and the circumstances and the environmental effects. There are three ways of how the cable is actually deteriorating. One is obviously the bending point of the cable. So the cable being bent like this is not the healthiest movement for this cable. But we thought of this, and actually in our whole design, if you closely look at it, the radius at which the antenna cable is bent is actually not that dramatic. So the main usage of the cable is actually not the bending. It is the connector on the cable. This connector sees a lot of wear and tear, and this connector can go bad quite quickly. The second effect is moisture in the cable. So as you use it, and sometimes in rainy conditions, moisture creeps into the coax, and this actually deteriorates the antenna cable performance. So again, there are three different reasons why the antenna cable wears out. First, obviously, is the bending. Second is the connector. And third is moisture creeping into the cable. This is why we recommend to replace the cable after three years. So you might ask yourself, how bad is the deterioration of the cable actually? If you look at the different lengths of the cable inside the antenna, the longest cable suffers the most. This is the one where most of the signal is lost along the cable. And what we did over the last five years of renting out those antennas is we took random antennas out of our rental pool and measured the performance over and over again. And this is how we actually came to the conclusion that after three years of heavy rental usage, you should replace the cable. So um, what we were looking for was the loss of signal along the cable. And the limit where we said we don't want to use this cable anymore is at 3 dB loss, meaning that half of the power is lost along the cable. So as soon as we lose half of the signal power along the cable, we think that this cable should not be used anymore. Obviously, on a nice weather event with perfect conditions, you won't see any difference. But it's not the nice perfect weather events where it actually matters. It's the bad weather events where you have difficulties capturing the transponders at all, where such a cable could lead to not detecting a participant. And as our claim is always to have 99.8% or better, you need to replace the cable if you want to achieve that kind of value. So if you want to replace the antenna, the first thing you have to do is open up the antenna. Probably most of you are familiar with this. You can just tear the top part off. And then you have the antenna in front of you. And then what you do is you take the cable out. And then you have the cable plus antenna like this. And these screws are normally screwed uh, on by us with a torque um, wrench like this. And um, most likely you will need a wrench to unscrew them. So uh, the wrench to use would be an eight millimeter wrench like this. And you can just unscrew them like this. And then you can just get the cable off like that. And to put it, put it together again, you take a brand new cable like this, and you put it on the antenna first. Make sure you just move this part and not the whole cable. You just turn this part here until it's 
a little bit tight and then you use the eight millimeter wrench and the important factor here is that you just apply a little bit of force, but not too much, okay? Because it's easy to tear this, this um, connector apart. So just a little bit of force, I'm trying to show this again here. So turning this, a little bit of force, but not too much, okay? As soon as the PCB down here starts to bend, that's definitely enough. Then you put the antenna in, and now you have to fiddle the cable through these parts like that. And this makes sure that once the cable is pulled, it doesn't pull off the connector, it just pulls the cable. One important thing about this whole thing with the cable is that you somehow need a way to measure the quality of a cable. And this is actually quite complex because even a three-year-old cable like this from our rental pool, if you would just measure it with a normal standard multimeter, it would be a correct and okay electric connection. But that does not mean that at 900 megahertz, it's still a good cable. And normally what we do in our production testing is we use this little tool that we built, which actually does the same thing as the fancy measurement equipment that I have on my desk, but it just can do one single measurement. It just does, does only do cable measurement. So what it does, it applies a signal on 900 megahertz and it has two ports and a second port to measure how much of that signal came through. And we use this device for every single cable that we produce. And we also use this device to check cables in our rental pool once in a while to make sure they're still okay. So typically what happens here is that you connect your cable and you connect it on the other side and if it's okay, the little uh, ampel mention will get green and if you have a bad cable you connect that and it will stay red so as said if you do a normal electrical test on this cable this cable would still be okay but the loss on 900 megahertz is too high so we would not use this cable anymore Obviously, this is the problem for you that you don't have this kind of equipment and you don't have the fancy measurement stuff that I have on my desk. So for you, the easiest way to actually do this is just replace the cables every three years, like you would do an oil change in your car. That's why we are now offering a full set of cables for a typical 4.8 meter antenna at a very competitive price because we don't want to rip you off on the cable. Um, we just want you to have the best performance and actually do the replacements once it's needed. So I hope uh, you understand that things can wear out over time and that those cables were designed to wear out from the start or whole antenna design was made with the thought that those cables need to be replaced at some time. And that's why you can open it up and that's why the antenna elements are accessible. And so you can do it on your own without sending the antenna in. Obviously, if you want us to do it, you can still send your antenna in, but um, it's not really necessary. So, hope you like this video. See you next time.